Welcome back. I don't think I've done a Lolita vlog in a while, so I decided I usually do, I usually run errands wearing Lolita because I'm trying to take steps to become a lifestyle Lolita once I build up my collection. So I typically, I typically go to the post office in Lolita, I go grocery shopping in Lolita, I go on walks in Lolita, and I thought it might be interesting, uh, cat. And I thought it might be interesting to get a vlog of it. Although, this also means that depending on humidity and other elements, you might see my hair shrink in real time. <laughs> this is why if I dress up and I know I'm going somewhere, I don't usually like wearing my afro because wigs are easier. But I was just feeling it today. As you can see, I'm only wearing one petticoat. When I'm out doing just daily things, wearing two petticoats gets in the way. And um, I usually wear body line because like it's cheap, you can throw it in the washer. Um, but since I'm vlogging today, I decided to dress up a little bit. So I'm wearing Crystal Dream Carnival, the first Alita dress I ever bought. I got lost. Um, I had to find the BMV because I have to renew my tags and I'm not from here. <laughs> I never had to renew my tags here so I didn't know where the BMV was and the GPS stopped me at a sign that said it was the Veterans Center. <laughs> and I get, I have high anxiety and I panic when I get lost. Uh, but I made it here. So, got my tags, and currently at Kroger, and if anyone's wondering, like a lot of people are t like who like to wear Lolita are like, well, how do you gain the confidence wearing Lolita, like fashion in public, but I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the, like the, What's the word I'm looking for? Not really embarrassing, but um. I'm not to say I love your outfit. That is adorable. Oh, thank you so much. See, and then nice, you know, nice stuff happens, like that. But what makes me nervous is actually vlogging, because it looks like I'm just like talking to nobody, which is strange. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, vlogging is something I'm still kind of like low-key, high-key trying to get used to. But yeah, um, like I was saying, like as far as just wearing the fashion when I'm out and about, most people don't really care. They just kind of go about their day. Um, so yeah, and I just kind of like... I mean, Lolita fashion is just regular clothes, and so when you go out the house, you have to put on clothes, right? And so, you just think of it as like regular clothes, and then do the things that you normally do. That's how I think about it. I'm super salty though, because I just got like two really nice compliments, and one of them I thought I was recording, but my phone took a picture and not video. <laughs> but she said that like I look like a Disney princess. <laughs> that made me happy. Oh my gosh. I did not even know Kroger had these. Look at how fucking adorable these are. I'm going to cry. Oh my gosh. Look, look how cute. Oh. Okay, mental note to come back here when I have a bit more money. And this concludes my shopping. I got like a, like maybe three compliments, which is nice. I mean, that's usually what people say, compliments. I don't really get like any weird or offhanded or like mean comments or anything. Um, so yeah, time to check out. Yeah, was so excited. <laughs> she was so sweet. 
And she asks, like, are you in a production? Which is, if you don't wear Lolita fashion, then you'll be surprised at how often we get asked, like, are you in a play? Are you in a production? Um, and I mean, I don't mind questions, like, honest questions. And so, yeah, I'll tell you, it's a Japanese street fashion. Um, and, you know, I got compliments. Usually compliments come from, like, middle-aged ladies or older ladies. Uh, today I got compliments also from like younger girls, like my age or younger as well. And it just feels good. I'm wearing something that makes me feel good. And I like the compliments too. <laughs> I just drove 40 goddamn minutes to my hometown so I could have some nice sushi at one of my favorite sushi places because out where I live there's really nothing and they're closed for renovations there's a sign on the door that says we're closed from August or from July to August So, I ended up driving an extra 15 minutes to come to my favorite sushi place, which is called Domo Sushi. It's much fancier and it's much higher quality, it's just a tad more expensive. With, but this is just like breaching the very, very, very edge of my budget, so I'm excited. I haven't been here in a while. I never get to really come here because it, it can get pricey. Um, so I'm excited. I got a tempura sweet potato roll, um, breaded potato roll, and then the veggie roll, which has a you know variety of veggies in it. And I'm so excited because everything here is so good. Like their tofu steak is good as well, but really I just come here for the sushi. <laughs> It was really cute though when I first came in. There was like a younger couple with a toddler. Um, and they were kind of like, the toddler was kind of being a little um, fussy. And you know, the mother turns back and she's like, look, look behind you, there's a princess behind you. Perks of Lolita fashion, I swear. Food's finally arrived. Look at this. So happy right now and of course I had to ask for extra ginger because the ginger here is really really good. <laughs> Man, I cannot tell you guys how much I've needed this. <laughs> I'm so happy. Was so good. So I'd say today was a pretty successful errand day. Errand day. I can't talk. I usually don't end my days eating sushi though. <laughs> I just felt like it. It's been a really rough month and I figured I haven't really treated myself at all. N not since my birthday. So. Yeah, nice weather, and dressing up always boosts my mood. Now I get to drive all the way back home. Yikes. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me, thank you for watching my vlog, 
and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.